everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. It's lovely to have you here. My name's Alexis and today I want to show you how to make my Nan's delicious homemade rice pudding. Now this recipe has been requested by one of my viewers so I thought I'd show you how to make it today. Um, my Nan wasn't a very experimental cook. She was a traditional cook but she didn't like to experiment too much. She liked to stick to what she knew um, and this is one of those recipes that she knew how to make so well. It always reminds me of my childhood eating this so I love it and because it was my nan's and part of my childhood I had to include it in my book Gifts from Grandpa which is available to buy on Amazon and I will link this in the description box below for you. This has 56 family recipes in it. Some of them are mine, most of them are my father's and a couple of my nan's and there's one of my grandfather's as well. So yes, I thought I'd share the recipe that is in this book with you today. It's absolutely delicious and I have made a few adaptations from my Nan's recipe. I've added a few things in that she probably wouldn't have used but it still tastes just like my Nan's did. So here is how to make my Nan's homemade rice pudding. So as I said I'm cooking this in the slow cooker so to go into my slow cooker I have 200 grams of white pudding rice. That's what you call it when you go into the supermarket, is pudding rice. And I think it's sold near the rice section. It depends on the supermarket, but it should be sold near the rice section. And then I have 50 grams of raisins as well. And then I have um, about 800 mils of coconut drink. In the recipe, I put coconut milk, but I'm actually using a coconut drink, which is slightly thinner, and I actually prefer to use this now. When I first wrote that recipe, all I could find was coconut milk, but now I've found this coconut drink and I really like it. So you can either use coconut milk or coconut drink for this recipe. And I'm just gonna pour this over the rice. And then I have four cardamom pods. Again, in the recipe, I've actually put, I think it was ground cardamom, and if you can get ground cardamom, please use it, because it does taste better, I think. I don't know why, but I just think it tastes better with ground cardamom. And this is the sort of ingredient that my grandmother probably wouldn't have used for this recipe, so this is my adaptation of it. Um, so I've got about four pods here, if you can't get ground cardamom, I've got four pods and then I've got a muslin cloth and all I'm going to do is simply tie the cardamom pods in the muslin cloth and I'm going to put this into the slow cooker and like hook it over the side so that um, you can get it out easily so all of the muslin cloth doesn't go in it. This muslin cloth has been used quite a few times for other things so it does look a bit dirty but I trust, trust me I did just put it in the wash so it is clean and that's it and now I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to put this on a high heat for about three to four hours now. So this has been cooking away nicely in my slow cooker um, and I did say earlier I think to leave this on for three to four hours on a high heat but actually I came back to it after two and all the liquid had absorbed and it is the rice is really soft as well so don't leave it on for three to four hours on a high heat maybe on a low heat but not on a high heat Definitely leave this on for a couple of hours and it will be perfect in the slow cooker. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a sauce for the top of this rice pudding. So I'm going to show you how to make that now. To make my sauce for the top, well it's kind of a fruit compote, so it's fried fruit that I'm actually putting on the top. I'm going to put a small pan on a high heat. If you have more fruit than this then you can use a bigger pan. Um, and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of coconut oil to the bottom of the pan and I'm just going to let that melt down now. So the pan is really nice and hot now and what I'm going to do is for this recipe 
well in the recipe on the blog it actually says to use strawberries but as strawberries are out of season I know you can probably still get them in some supermarkets I've decided to use plums instead I don't like to use things when they've gone out of season in this country so I've just quartered and removed the stones from these plums and I'm just going to put them into the bottom of this pan and I'm going to fry these off for a few minutes until they start to soften. So the plums have started to soften now and what I'm going to do to sweeten them slightly but to sweeten them naturally I'm just adding a bit of ground cinnamon to them. So that was probably about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and I've used about six plums you can use more or you can use different fruit if you want to you could always use frozen strawberries or frozen cherries if you wanted to it's entirely your decision i just had these plums lying in a fruit bowl and they needed eating up so i thought i'd make them into sort of a fried compote today so yes these are starting to soften nicely so i'm going to turn the heat right down and i'm going to leave these well i'm going to continue to stir them and just keep cooking them. So these are really lovely and soft now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the heat off and I'm going to add in a couple of teaspoons of um, honey now as well, just to give them an extra bit of sweetness. If you find that they're sweet enough without the honey or if you don't like honey, then don't add it. You can always add like maple syrup maybe if you wanted to. If you wanted to keep this completely vegan, then please add maple syrup or coconut sugar would be really nice as well on these. Um, and I'm just going to stir that in. And that is my topping for the rice pudding done. So that's how you make my Nan's homemade rice pudding. And I'm going to enjoy some of this this evening after my dinner. So I'm really looking forward to that. And as I mentioned earlier, this recipe is in my new cookbook, Gifts from Grandpa, which is available to buy on Amazon. And I will link it in the description box below for you. And I'll also link the recipe in the description box below too. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you soon. Bye.